Hi there, Mark Cosnier from Dreamweaver Made Simple. I received an email today from Gloria. And in the email, Gloria asked me a question. This is what Gloria asked. When I created my site on Dreamweaver and tested it in the browser preview, everything was fine. Then, when I looked at it online, there was no image. All right, Gloria, let's have a look at what might have happened. Let's take our example here at beavercheesesecrets.com. So we've got our site, and as you can see, we don't have a header up here. So let's go in and put a header in. We open up Dreamweaver and insert our image. Click on Image Insert. Browse to our image folder and choose our image. And we click OK. Now it's asking us for some text here. So we can simply just put in some alternate text. It's good to use some text that might be search engine friendly here. So use some text that relates to your keywords. And you can leave long description blank and click OK. As you can see, we've got our image in now. So let's preview this in our browser. It'll ask us to save the changes and then open it in our browser window. As you can see, we have the whole image here, with our header as well. So now it's time to upload our file. We go to our file panel, click on the file we want to upload, and this is where you have to pay particular attention. When we click on upload, we're going to be asked if we want to also upload all the related files. Let's take a look. So do we want to put dependent files on also? You need to say yes to this. See, the image is also a dependent file. If you say no, then it won't upload the actual main image that we just added to the website. So let's say no in this case and see what happens. It's uploading our file. We'll come back to it once it's uploaded. Now that the upload's finished, let's take a quick look at the actual website and see what happened. We'll refresh the page. And as you can see, there's no image. All we've got are the words Beaver Cheese, which is the title, descriptive title that we put in. So how do we fix this? Let me show you. Let's go to upload the file again. And this time, when it asks us to upload the dependent files, we're going to say yes. What it's doing this time is also uploading any new images that we've put on the page. This time, when we have a look, you should see that everything will work fine. We'll come straight back to it as soon as this page is uploaded. You can see here that it's currently uploading the dependent files. This will only take a moment or two, and then we'll be ready to go back to our main website and see what's happened. Okay, the page has finished uploading, so let's go over to the website now and see what the difference is. We're going to refresh the page and see if our header image appears. As you can see, our header is now there. So just remember, when you're uploading a file, when it asks you to put the dependent files as well, simply click on yes. Now I hope that's shown you how to upload your file as long as all the images that go with it. If you'd like to see more tips and tricks like this and learn how to build your whole website in less than a day, then you can visit www.dreamweavermadesimple.com. I'm Mark Costner, looking forward to seeing you there.